Usirudi nyuma kuiacha amri ya midomo yake Utunze sana upendo kwa watu wote zaidi ya chuki yako Usirudi nyuma kuiacha amri ya midomo yake Utunze sana upendo kwa watu wote zaidi ya chuki yako And she refused having a girlfriend. And those times youth had a their education. Wewe, they said that if you are a young man who is grown up, Amen. 
Amen. And you refuse having a girlfriend. And you are eating and drinking. Then the strength of fertility will die. When you come to marriage, you will be, you will be unfertile. You are going to die. Your fertility will die. Because it is wanted that you should be practicing. Yeah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi nikasema, then I said, na mungu and it is God who strengthened me. Mungu. And he gave me to love dunia, God. Dunia the, I'm tired of the world. So he drew me into salvation. Kwa ujana, At a time that I was going to adulthood. Ambio, that the time the blood was running fast. So I came to salvation. Nika, nika hapa kule moyoni, and I vowed in my heart kama nitakufa, if I'm going to die mana sina rafiki, because I have no girlfriend na niwe wakwanza hapa kwetu, let mitani, me be the first one in our village anazikwa, that he is buried hallelujah, hallelujah. Anazikwa, he is buried uyo mazombo warimba, anazikwa, mazombo rimba is laid to rest hallelujah, hallelujah. He's led to rest because okoka, he went into salvation na marafiki, and he refused having a girlfriend. That's why he has no children. Amen. Amen. Then I said, let me die. Kupenda mungu. I was given to love God. Penda mungu. To love God. Kwa dini, I was in the religion, penda mungu. but then I loved God. Kwa mungu alipono, kule kupenda. For, when God saw my love, na kwa ke huyu, and he knew the love of this young man, he wanted to have some doctrine, ya mungu ya the dana. doctrine of God that will enable him na to overcome sin. Pali nilipo, and he saw me where I was. Ya mimi the doctrine of overcoming sin was not there. Ma, maka huo huo. So the same year, when I went to salvation January, in 1976 January na na I had a brother who was schooling in Mariakani Amen, Amen. So, you missionary? I never knew missionary yeah, yeah, hapa. but then he came to salvation here hapa. he was saved here so when he came home, shudia, he was just saying to me Mariakani kuna mtu wa mungu. about Mariakani there is a man of God. Elisha. His name is Elisha. Yeah, he is teaching about sin. That is the hindrance of your growth. If you see you have a sickness you are being prayed for and not getting the healing, it is because there is a sin that is hindering. So what is the way of being delivered from sin? You believe in Jesus Christ and then you confess. If two agree, confess one to another and pray for one another. Okay, where am I going to confess now? And the missionaries in Mariakani. And Mariakani is far away from here. When he closes the school, he comes home. So we go to our religion there. But then I was given to love his testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear, the thing that's working is love. He is leaving me alone there. But because of that great love, and because I'm condemned by many saints, I want the pastor to question me. I'm swelling in my private part. One part is swollen. And I've been shown all those areas. Are the things that I did during my childhood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Haya. Okay. Who am I going to confess to? I desire the pastor to question me that we are praying for you and not receiving you. There are things that are condemning me. So I love the word speaking the truth concerning my life even before I meet the missionary. Sasa, so, because they are not preaching that doctrine and the things that are condemning me, kupenda, I was given to love. So when my brother testified to me, Kule, that you have to sit down even if you have a chronic disease you are being prayed for and not receiving a healing the, pre the preacher is preaching about the hindrance and if you sit down with the preacher and tell him the truth you will be healed and you will be healed you will be healed so my pastor does not teach that he's not asking me after every service Come and kill here. Anaomba kweli. Truly he's praying. Hata akusukume uanguke. Until he pushes you to fall down. Lakini kesho. But tomorrow. Bado ni mimi yule. I'm still the same. Amen. Amen. 
And because he does not have those teachings, or speaking the truth. I one day stood up. It was during the testimony time. People are feeding the church. Amen. I'm not offended by the word confessing my sin. I've been given to love. There is a testimony, yes. I stood up. I told them, praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters. Elders and mothers. Girls and boys. Praise the Lord. Amen. And there was great joy during that time. And great faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because in 1959, when Osborne came to Mombasa, so at home there, people were traveling in buses with great revival, singing, singing sana. great songs. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So those years. 1960, 61, up to 63. I was a young boy still running fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 1965, they were singing. Baraka, baraka. Blessings and blessings. Baraka, baraka. Blessings and blessings. Yes, Jesus is God. He will yes, bless us so because Jesus is good. He will bless us. Baraka, baraka. Blessings and blessings. Baraka, baraka. Blessings and blessings. Yes, because Jesus is God. He will bless us yes, so because Jesus is God. So I feel I'm delaying in going to salvation. But then my father was telling me don't go to salvation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Those, those, those songs of those years. That Jesus is God. He will bless us. Where will the devil pass through? And you are filled with love. Amen. Amen. But love was taken away at the middle. There was no love again in there. My father is pastor. And again, don't shave your hair. And you don't slaughter a god at the grave. Okay, you don't slaughter the grave. But for a saved man, he's not slaughtered at the grave. But it is slaughtered at another place. But then they failed the examination. Yeah, you don't slaughter the grave. But you are slaughtering the grave. But what is the idea? You are fulfilling the tradition. Jesus went away. That's why I was being prayed for and I was never receiving the healing. Because they reached a point that they, they were offended. Amen. Amen. The word of Jesus says, a, a natural man does not please God. So fear came into them because they wanted to please human beings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I testified. I told them, praise the Lord. He said, Amen. I'm telling you one day, and I had gone to take care of my mother's life. I'm telling them exactly how not to live. And very openly. Then may God forgive me. May God forgive me. And again. And again. And again. And, again. and I was weeping. I feel I'm filled with revival. The missionary, the missionary, when I sleep, I dream. I see somebody preaching. And again, a very healthy man. And I've never come to Mariakani. Amen. Amen. So the pastor followed me and said, Young man, where did you get this gospel from? Then I said I got some information from Mariakani. There is a man called Elisha. So I was requesting you that we, we call him here at least for only one day. Then he said that I know that man. I know that man. He's a Luo man from Lengolaka. His idea is to have many churches. That his churches may multiply. So, okay, so you don't want this church to belong to Elisha? 
Haya liwelako lakini angaa yale maneno aliyopewa na Mungu angaa hajatupe. Okay, na naongea moyoni basi. I'm saying that moyoni. in my heart but at least he Siku comes here. Sikwamba ili kanisa liwelake. So that it's not that he should come here that lakini yale maneno aliyopewa na Mungu yako wao. But at least the word that is given by Kule God. Kule moyoni nikasema in my heart I say it. Hawataniona hawa. They'll never see me again. Nitaenda Mariakani. I'm going to Mariakani. Nikada utatikiti. I'm looking for fair. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kamwambia yule ndugu yangu I told my brother Na alikuwa amenambia kuna and, mkutano wa Pasaka He had told me that is Na huo ulikuwa ni mwaka wa 76 And that was in 1976 Kinachonifanya hata mbele za watu wengi na, 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 na madhaifu yangu ni nini What is making me to confess my 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 evilness before many people Nikupenda It is because of that lie Nilipohusudiwa When I was testified Kwamba that dhambi that sin Bwana Yesu alisema That Jesus said Ungamee ninyi kwa ninyi Confess one to another Hata kama kuna jambo zito And even if there is a heavy thing that thing that is not yet hit by faith it will be healed i was given to love amen amen i was never offended a person like me to go and sit down and confess all things concerning jesus or such honor, such coats like this one, a rank like this one i possess oh okay you have a rank hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana yake the meaning is that is that is called being offended. A person is ashamed yake, of speaking the truth. That is that means you are offended. Wao, and those who are offended do not have the blessedness. Bwana kanisaidia nikaja. So the Lord enabled me to come here. Ah, yeah. I was seated there. Kanisa ilikuwa ya Eli. The ah, church was El Shepherd. Ilikuwa ni moja tu imekuja. It was only one wing. Mdogo ilikuwa hapa hapa. One wing facing this side. Amen. Amen. Ilikuwa ndogo iko hapa. A small church was here. Ya mabati. Haleluya. Two sheets. Haya. Okay. Nikimwangalia wewe mtumishi wa Mungu. If I look at the servant of God. Haleluya. Haleluya. Simujui. I don't know him. Lakini watu wameimba. But people have sang. They are not yet sung or praised. But the choir members or the singers have sung and they are continuing. I saw a person entering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even his man of work, I, I identify him as he should be the one. Amen. Amen. The thing that saved me I was enabled to laugh I have not come here But the word Confess your sins one to another I, was, I never got offended with that The Lord enabled me to love Hallelujah And I thank God Of the founder From that year Up to death He's assisting me to continue love And I I pray that he continues Mana to give me love kupona. because they continue receiving the healing. Hata wewe, kijana, mzee, mama, and even mzee, you, young man, mother, elder, the sacred should be enabled Mana to love because na God oh. is working together with Maka those who love. This year should be enabled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu, to believe in God na kupenda, and you should be enabled to love mungu kazi, because God is working na wampendao, together with those who love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Si no people are offended na nguvu za mungu, and the strength of God zakuja katika pendo is manifested Mana in love because love believes in all pendo uvumilia yote love perseveres all pendo halifurahi mabaya love does not cheer in evil hallelujah hallelujah kabisa surely pendo ndio nguvu za mungu love is the power of god tusome matayo 11 read for us the book of matthew 4:5 matthew chapter 11 4:5 6 Chagua mwaka huu choose or decide this year. 2021 nguvu za Mungu the power of god linakaa pamoja na wapendao is together with those who love hallelujah hallelujah si wenye kuchukizwa no people are offended kijana hujaliwe kupenda young man should be able to love lakini uko humu hupendi but you are here you're not loving waona 
njia hii ya kuoa you see this way of marriage mutu, that you, you engage somebody you have not known him or her Ebe, amen sio njia nzuri it's not a good way wataka kwanza mtu tembee naye bichi you want first to walk with somebody at the beach sauti yake until you know his voice or her voice yake, how he talks na meno yake uyaone you also see her teeth Haleluya. Haleluya. Na ujue kwanza and you first know yeah, kipika ugali unaiva au hauivi. How she prepares food? Ndio useme nimepata mchumba. And then that the time you say of God. Watu kizona njia takatifu ya kuoa. You are pleased with the, the way of our marriage. Amen. Amen. Huyo Isaka alimjua saa ngapi huyo? Did Isaac know that girl Rebecca? Rebecca? Hata kwanza hakuenda huko. In fact he never went there. Ni mtumishi alifanya kutumwa. It is a servant that was sent there. Mwa, mwanangu Isaka muke. Bring me a wife for my son Isaac. Na alipokuja, and when the wife came, akasema asante Mungu. He said thank you God. Umenipa muke aliyefuraya moyo wangu. You have given me a wife that Ana is a joy of my heart. Kama wa mama angu, she has great love like my mother. The, ma- the way my mother loved me. Kama mama hajafa bado. It is like my mother's not yet dead. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. 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 Vijana wa leo. So the youth of the day. Hii miracle revival hii. Oh this miracle revival. Hata mtu barua. That you write somebody a letter. Hata hujajua akipumua pumzi yake. You do not, not know how her breath is. Ndio mnatabu huu mnatabu. That's why you have problems inside here. Mwezi mmoja watu wametokana tayari. One month everyone is tired of the mmoja, other. Mmoja, 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 mmoja. After one year everyone is fed up with the other. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bana ni ndoa haina Mungu ndani. Because it is a marriage that God does not exist. You are offended. Ndio njia takatifu ya kuolewa. The way of Helen that gives you to marriage you are offended with it you are coming to marriage really. but then God is not together with you you will be united Mano here meyasicha. because you have hidden them Amen. Amen. and yet she already prepared food for you and she fried meat for you and you ate that meat when it was still raw in fact you are marrying somebody who already fried the raw meat and ate it so when you come into marriage after one month everyone is fed up with the other hallelujah so such marriage kuna chaka haraka it's defied or it's defied very quickly. It's equal for you going to a shop. You have seen a shirt in there hanging and you have liked it. But you don't have money to buy it. And then you agree with the shopkeeper that I'm, this cloth don't sell it. You just spare it for me somewhere. You put it somewhere in a shelf. I'm coming to pay in bits until I finish paying for it. Haya. Okay. Anakuamini yeye. And then he trusts you. Anaifunga anaweka pale. He put it aside somewhere. Hata pengine umeanzia sumuni. Or maybe you've paid 50 cents or 5 cents. Alafu umfuate umwambie sasa. And then you follow him tell him. Si imekuwa yangu tu kama umeanza. Now it has become mine provided. Na ndio vijana wanavyosema sasa hii. And that's exactly how the boy was saying. Wewe wangu. You are now mine. Si wazee walienda. Elders went there. Yes. So what, what is remaining the, the, the yeah, and for us to be united. So what, what is remaining here? Come and treat me where I live. As a girl, you should refuse such things. Tell him no. Why should I come and greet you? And those who see me entering into your room. What will they say? Okay, let people not see you. And what about God? Amen. Amen. Refuse. Tell him don't be in a hurry. Let the elders go there again. And pay the balance. I belong to you forever. Then why are you in a hurry? Okay, now that piece of cloth. You go to the shopkeeper. You paid a deposit of 50 shillings. And tell him there is a celebration for my father. Or maybe there is a celebration somewhere. Of opening the new year. You give me my shirt that I go with him that I dress it at least but after there I return it to you before I clear the, all the money and he trusts to you are his friend that he gives you and then you wear it until everyone is surprised with you oh Mr. Rimba Oh, where did you get this shirt from? Until you eat soup with it. And then you stain it. 
Alafu kama za sherehe and then after the celebration ulegeshe kwa duka you return to the shop mwenye duka anakuamini then the shopkeeper trusts you ukija kuikomboa sasa when you come and buy it or imeshakuwa yako it to, to be yours sasa umeivaa now you are dressing it amen amen hata wewe mwenyewe wewe until you personally utasikia na kitu kipya kweli will you feel really have mimi nitembea nayo kwa watu tayari because you already walked with it to the people hata pengine na doa la supu hapo and in fact it has some scent here and there hata wewe mwenyewe wewe you personally ndio umeitoa dukani sasa you have taken it from the shop now rasmi utasikia kule moyoni ni mpya will you feel in your heart this is new amen amen haleluya haleluya utashangaa hata you will not be surprised of anything utashangaa you will be surprised ah yeah oh ni ile uliyovaa mwaka mpya oh, it is the, the shirt that you wore during the new year kuna miezi miwili nilikuona uvai vai but then for two months i never saw you wearing in fact there was another celebration somewhere but then you say i had not paid for it fully hata watu hawatashangana so people will not be surprised with you haleluya haleluya ndio ndoa kama hizi that's why such marriages haleluya haleluya kwa watu wanaochukizwa to people who are offended Uamue mwaka huu you decide this ya umwambie bwana Yesu and tell Jesus Christ niondolee roho ya kuchukizwa remove from me the heart of being offended and enable me to follow you kwa pendo kamili with complete love kwa imani na pendo kamili by, by faith and with complete love ili nisikutende dhambi so that i should not commit sin bwana wewe unafanya kazi because you are working together na wapendao with those who love tusome you read for us matayo yotano The book of Matthew chapter 5 uh, uh, Matthew 11 5 and 6 Yesu akajibu akamwambia Nendeni mkamweleze Yohana mnaye asikia na kuyaona vipofu wanapata kuona viwete wanakwenda wenye ukoma wanatakaswa viziwi wanasikia wafu wanafufuliwa na maskini wanahubiriwa habari njema naye heri awaye yote asiyechukizwa nami Jesus answered and said unto them Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see The blind receive their sight the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up and the poor have the good news has the good gospel preached to them and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me Hallelujah Hallelujah Hiyo ndio siri ya wokovu That is the secret of salvation Na nguvu za Mungu and the strength of God Inakaa kwenye pendo is together with love Si kwa mtu mwenye kuchukizwa It's not with a person who is offended Umeona ishara I've seen the sign Mkofu akiona The blind see Ni wetu akitembea And the lame are walking Ulikuwa kama karatasi You are in a house kama you went to the and you saw the sign Leo wala kwa nyumba ya permanent Today you are living in a permanent house Haya angalia Now behold Usije ukachukuza tena rimba Do not be offended again rimba Kasema kutoa ni upumbavu And saying giving is a is foolishness is to be made poor Amen Amen Ndio maana yake That is the meaning of it Leo ulivyopenda The way you love Tangu unakaa kwa karatasi From the time you're staying in that mad house Na ukanipenda mimi And you continued loving me Huku nungunika You never mama Huku laumu You never blame hata umepewa pesa za kuanzia until now you have been given money to begin the construction and you gave it to god ukakubali bado uendelee kukaa kwa makaratasi you accepted to continue living in that hilo, house nalo, hilo. so you, that love should continue in Usirudi you kuchukizwa. do not go back and head hallelujah 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 amen amen maana The meaning ile, you saw that sign lile, of being healed of that and getting that rank mana ulipenda because you love Ulipenda you love hata bado ni kibarua now it is the work ukawa huko zaka you are not missing giving time jumapele, every sunday kila mwezi every month leo umepata kazi kubwa but today i've got a big job hata ni manager you are now a manager and supervisor you are a supervisor umeona hayo yote you have seen all that masikini wewe you as a poor man you have been preached the good Ato news masikini umeondoka until the power is gone away now you should be able to love now endelea kuwa na heri you will continue with the blessedness hallelujah Haleluya. 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 Maana uliona vipofu wakiona because you saw the blind uliona kuokoka and you saw them being saved. Maana ulipenda because you love. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ndio maana yake. That is the meaning of it. Ndio maana yake. That is the meaning of it. Usirudi kuchukizwa tena. Do not go back to offenses again. Umeona kupona upofu. You have seen that you are healed of your Umeona kupona kasoni za lana tumboni. You have seen that you are healed of your sickness. Umeona kuokolewa ulikuwa uzai leo aja. You have seen that you are delivered you are bare and you are giving back. Now behold. Usichukizwe. Do not be offended. Haleluya. Haleluya. 
Upende. You should love. Maana uliona miujiza hii. Because you saw this miracle. Maana ulijali wa kupenda. Because you are able to love. Ukaondoa aibu. And you remove all the shame. Ukatubu dhambi. And you confess your sin. Ukuficha kweli ya maisha yako. You never hid the truth of your life. Ndio kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake. And that by the prayer of the servant of God. Ukaona kupata. You saw that you are being your sin. Heri uendelee nayo. Now you should continue with the blessedness. Angalia usichukizwe. Behold you should not continue in offense. Ndio ukiona mtu anakaa kanisani. That's why when you see a man standing in the church. Who saw the sign? Leo mabaya yamekuja. And today evilness have come back to him. There is no peace. Alifika mahali huyu. This man reached a point. Akachokezwa and he got offended. Amen. Amen. Shetani akamnyang'anya lile pendo. The devil removed the love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akaingiza kuchukizwa ndani. And he put in him offenses. Amen. Amen. Ndio siri that is the secret ya nguvu za Mungu of the strength of God baraka, of bringing blessing uzima, of bringing life kufanya amani idumu of making peace to be permanent pendo ndiye nguvu ya Mungu love is the power of God haleluya haleluya kabisa surely ndio mimi na muomba Mungu wa mama mwanzeleshi that's why i pray to the god of the founder and mother ya mtumishi wake who is inside his server anijalie kupenda to enable to love and love and love kupenda and love kupenda and love kupenda and love ikiwa alijalia kupenda if enable me to love hata asma iko even asma was there nimelala and i was asleep nimeugua i have suffered tena naamka and then i wake up nikiamushwa and when i met to wake up kombe cha chai kimenishinda the chest is amenable lakini naja kwa umoja but then i come to the unity naja kwa kazi ya umoja i come to the work of unity sijaona baraka i've never seen the blessing mungu akanijalia god enabled me sikusema mbona watu hawanioni i didn't say why people are not seeing me mbona wengine wanajenga mimi niko hivyo why are others constructed them on the same way bwana kupenda the lord enabled Even though I was staying in a madhouse, but whenever I wake up, I come to church. I hold the hammer together, brothers, and I hit the nails and constructing the churches. Hallelujah! I saw the sign. Let us all clap. You are not. Clapping for me. You are appreciating Jesus of the founder. You are appreciating the God of the founder. In his son Jesus Christ. Because he's the one who did that. So by the prayers of his servant on me. Because God is saying. Jesus saying. Whatever you shall pray. I will do them. So that my father may be glorified. Inside the son. Know the preacher to be glorified. Hallelujah. 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 Unaomba huyu aokoke so you are praying for him to be saved uokoke na jambo or that you may be saved from something it's not that you should be seen wonderful or maybe you surprise people that you may be seen you have great faith you may that we have got that and that baba mungu atukuzwe but the father got to be glorified inside his son jesus christ mungu atafanya that god will do it Hallelujah. 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 Maana kule kuona because seeing vifanyike that it should be done nionekane wa ajabu that it should be seen wonderful nionekane na imani kubwa that it should be seen of great faith nilikuwa kwa makaratasi that i was living in a mad house nina nyumba ya kudumu and today i have a permanent house watu wa shangae the people should be surprised nimba ni wa ajabu that i'm a wonderful man hapo mungu hatukuzwe there the god is not glorified there baba hatukuzwe and for him to be glorified baba nani mungu God our father God inside his son Jesus Christ then who are you as a human being you are nothing before God hallelujah 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 and that spirit is together with anybody who loves love. love is not proud upendo haujivuni Love is not pendo haujivuni love is not pendo ndani kuna kiburi huna pendo if you find that you are pride in your heart you have no love hauna kudharau mtu love does not despise anybody pendo unakuhesa mwingine bora love is esteeming others better pendo unakusikiliza ndugu anasemaje love is listening to other people's opinions pendo unasikiliza maoni ya wengine love is listening to other people's opinions wewe lako ni lako but you have to stand by your own opinion ulisema lo wewe whatever you say halipingi is not to be a poor wewe huna pendo you have no love in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is not love. Missionary used to say, I listen even to young children. Yeah, brother, what are you saying? I thought that the work that we are doing, but have you, would have, would have, 
would you have done this? Okay, thank you, brother, for the opinion. And then I look at the opinion. Is it, is it bringing salvation? If it is bringing salvation, then I follow it. Because the idea for the work of God to be done. But you're not receiving the opinion of your wife. Even your children have given opinions and receiving them. You are saying you were born yesterday. I gave birth to you. You began yet that he should assist you. He was a father. I think that don't you know that the Bible is saying that children will see visions? Will they dream or they see visions? But in the Bible, visions. Visions, visions yeah. Yeah. So he has come with a vision. Baba, Father, I'm seeing this piece of land. Do not sell it. Where will we stay tomorrow? Oh, go out from here. Yeah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you begat him so that he may bring you some vision. And you also have dreams. You say, I dreamed yesterday. And then they give their, their visions. And the visions concern tomorrow. But your dream, or those are things that are past. Because you have stories of the past stories. This is the land of my dead father. But these ones have visions for tomorrow. Father, we see the gold thing that, But elders are dreaming. You should observe that one carefully. So you are following your dreams. You are refusing the, the visions of your wife and your children. That's why you're not successful. Because there is no love in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You read there and then we finish up with the book of Proverbs. Beside this year young man, you say, last year I was offended. That's why I lived in sin and in drunkenness and evilness and in murmuring and in hatred. But I want this year God of the founder enable me to love that I should be a man believing in God and to love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I should not commit sin against God. That you heal me that hatred which has denied me blessing the whole of last year other than following you that I follow in love and peace and the strength of God is manifested in love. Hallelujah. And you love those who love you. You read for us and then you go to Proverbs 8, 17. Will you decide to love this year? I chose. And I still decide or choose. Yesu akajibu akawambia, nendeni mkamweleze Yohana mnae asikia na kuyaona, vipofu wanapata kuona, fiwete wanakwenda, wenye ukoma wanatakaswa, viziwi wanasikia, wafu wanafufuliwa, na masikini wanaubiriwa habari njema, na eheri awaye yote asie chukizwa anami. Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. The Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you may be surprised. I am in salvation. I saw miracles. But why today coming evil things in my life? Why are things of... Uh, Gentiles coming unto me. Why are problems coming to me who deserve the Gentiles? They are coming from Egypt. Because you reached a point. Truly you saw the sign. Because you loved. You believed. You loved. But then you reached a point and got offended. You murmured that. And you blamed them. And you are proud there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for you to see that miracle, you are humble, and you are able to be warned, and you are teachable, and you are esteeming others better, and you are listening to their opinions, but then you reach to a point, you are offended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Shetani akakondola ile pendo la kwanza. The devil removed the first love. Ndio maana leo. That's why today. Mabaya yanakuja. Evil things are coming. Masikini unakuja. Poverty is coming. Hata kuliko ile wa kwanza. More than the first one. Maana ulifika mahali. Because you reached a point. Ukaacha kupenda. And you stopped loving. Nguvu za Mungu zikakuacha. And the power of God went away from you. Ukaacha kupenda. You stopped loving. Na hapo kwanza ulipenda. At the beginning you love. Hata deni ile liko. Even that debt is there. Hata deni ile liko. Even that debt is there. Lakini ukawa na kupenda. But then you had love. Mungu unatii Mungu wa kwanza. And then you are obeying what God was commanding you. Kaona miujiza. And you saw the miracle. Kaona baraka. And you saw the blessing. Yesu Kristo. And Jesus Christ. Ye yule jana. Is the same yesterday. Na leo. And today. Na milele na milele. And forever and ever. Hajabadilika. He has never changed. Bado ni wa baraka. He still of blessing. Bado ni wa uzima. He still of life. Hata mwezi uliopita ule wa ndani niliponya. Even last month he healed me. Mkono uliniuma hapa tu. Hapa. My wrist was waking. Hapa hapa. He had the wrist. Mwezi uliniuma hapa hapa. At the wrist here. I went to Athi River. I stayed there with Pastor Muhoro. But then I was not telling them. Amen. Because the Bible is saying, love is persevering all. In my heart, I felt I had a lot of strength in me. They are greeting me and shaking my hand. But then I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the strips of Jesus Christ, I'm saying it in my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not, you don't have to close your eyes when you are praying. You may be walking and praying at the same time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not all the time that you have closed your eyes and say in the name of Jesus. In your heart. Amen. Amen. You are opposing the devil. You are opposing the devil. Which word of God? That's why I told you recently. And that's exactly what God is saying. The Bible is saying oppose the devil and he ran away. Now you are opposing him. You are opposing him on which standard of God? Amen. Amen. That you see him opposing in the name of Jesus. But in which verse of the Bible are you referring him to? Which word of God are you opposing him with? If Jesus himself opposed him with the word of God, it is written. It is written. It is written. Until the devil knew this one, he has love in our God. Hallelujah. 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 He is working together with those who love. Why don't you decide this year? I've lived a man who is offended every time in my house. Your husband has led, come let a bit from where coming from. Your husband has come let a bit from where. He has passed through brother John. Oh, you have your own affairs. Why were you not coming late those other days? Then you are sleeping in the kitchen. You have stopped loving. Now brothers come from work. He should not come later. At least that pastor brother. When he comes late, or he comes home late, he has already gone to his girlfriend. And what about you when you go to see your aunt? And come late today. Will you shall have gone outside? When you say I was to come today but I'm requesting because there are some things that I have to amend and come the day after tomorrow. And then he says that is a lie, you are passing your boyfriend. He will also be offended and say do I have a boyfriend with? Am I passing my boyfriend? Are you the one stopping me from doing evil? Then why are you offended? Amen. So the way you trust yourself that Jesus has saved you and he's the one who is protecting you and you are not going to evil things you believe that the one who saved you even those in your house shall also be saved because the Bible is saying the one who is protecting the home is doing work in vain if the Lord does not protect and whosoever is building the homestead is doing it in vain if the Lord does not build then all this anger because you are the one protecting that the husband should not go to Mana evil things. Because you are protecting the wife should not go to evil Do things. That's why you are all fear. You are doing that work in vain. If the, if the Lord does not put love in him, 
kazi bure. You are doing work in vain. Atakuja mchana wenyewe saa 11. She will come during the day at 5 o'clock. Tena mabaya ameyafanya hivi. And she has also committed the evil things. Kwani dhambi ni dakika ngapi? Because how many time or how many men do you need to commit a sin? Amen. Amen. Hiyo dhambi that sin. Ni miaka mingapi? How many years do you need to commit it? Hallelujah. 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 Amini. You just believe. Mungu vita. Those who love God do not walk. They believe that Mungu God is the one who is protecting Mungu everybody. Amini if he has saved me Na nasa. from adultery, Mungu anasema, then God is saying mutu. he will save somebody Na yake. together with his house. Dada then the sister is also saved. Amen. Amen. And the brother is also saved. And my sibling also say. And if there is anybody who is not yet saved, if we pray to God with love, the Lord will say, you are going to save me together with my family. Now look at my child who is in evil He has been stolen by the devil. He is in adultery or pleasure. Drunkenness. And you say that you are going to deliver me together with my house. Then why deliver me and my children to be in bondage? You find that tomorrow the condemnation of God is coming. They are drawn to God and they come here clapping and coming out of sin. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Because you are praying according to the word of God. And that is love. Let us finish up with the book of Proverbs 8, 17. He is saying, I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently, they will find me. And the diligence is coming to those who love. The diligence means difficulties is there or difficult things are there. Umasikini huko poverty is there lakini wapendaye but those who love will serve God. He will not stop anything that God is commanding He will agree to sleep without food, but to obey what God is commanding him. So that diligence is coming when there is love in you. You read for us. Na wapenda wale wanipendao na wale wanitafutao kwa bidi wataniona. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Mungu wapendi, Peep, God does not love people who are offended. He says he loves those who have loved. Si wenye no people who are offended. Wenye no people who are murmuring. Wenye kusita. No people who are hesitating. Wapenda wapenda. He loves those who love him. Angovu. He's strengthening them. Na kila kwa jina la and every time they say in the name of Jesus, kitu. something will be done. Za Mungu. Because love is the power of God. Hallelujah. 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 Then what are you deciding this year? to love or to continue in offenses so that this year may be a year of miracle. Even if you don't have employment, we prayed here recently that everyone should be given his desire and everyone to be given his heart desire and everyone to be given his heart desire and everyone to be given his heart desire, his heart desire. His heart desire. so the desires on the way coming you should be unable to love to love not to be offended because the power of God Zinaka. is manifested with those Na who are love. Let us all stand up. He is working together with those who love. Chana waleo. Today, tell Jesus Christ. Mwaka uliopita. Last year, I lived a man of offense that enabled me during this new year that I should be a man of love that heal me of all these offenses. I should be a man of love enable me to have love so that the power of God and heal me the heart of offense and create me love and to love a heart that loves let us all close our eyes Baba Mungu wa Mwanzilishi katika jina la Bwana Yesu wewe ulichagua ndugu yule na dada yule mkubwa kwa mdogo unataka ufanye kazi ndani yake baba na wewe unafanya kazi na wapendao angalia baba kijana yule dada yule na ndugu yule amekaa kwa hasara wakovuni na aliona ishara lakini akafika mahali akachukizwa akanyang'anywa kule kupenda maana ishara ile aliona Iwe ni ya kupona, iwe ni ya kufanikiwa duniani hapa, 
maana alijaliwa kupenda akavumilia kupungufu akakutumikia wewe akanena iliyo kweli maisha yake hakuona aibu akafikia kupona hata yale sugu yaliolana lakini angalia leo haoni tena muujiza badala ya kuendelea kuona mema ni mabaya anamujia maana alifika mahali akachukizwa akaondokewa na lile pendo la kwanza semea watu wako ukawaajalie kupenda ukamjalie kila mmoja ukamponya roho ya kuchukizwa umujalie kuwa apendaye umuumbie kila mmoja pendo la Mungu ndani mwake umuponye kule kuchukizwa umujalie kupenda moyo upendao roho ipendayo iaminio na kupenda maana pendo ndilo nguvu za Mungu pendo uvumilia yote pendo uamini yote pendo alishirikiani na ubaya na wewe bwana Yesu waja kufanya kazi katika pendo asante baba kutenda naamini ndugu hawa baba umewaponya kule kuchukizwa maana baba wa mbinguni Mungu wa mwanzeleshi ndani ya mtumishi wako Immanuel ya mzungu unataka kufanya kazi ndani yao hata ujidhihirishe wewe ni mwenye uwezo unadhihirika kwa wapendao kama yule ndugu pale birikani alikuwa mtu wa kutukizwa akakaa miaka 38 alipojaliwa kupenda na ni wewe ulimuponya kule kutukizwa aliko nako alikokuwa nako ponya yule kijana ponya yule ndugu ponya yule mama ponya yule mzee kila kutukizwa kuliko ndani ukamjalie kila mkubwa kwa mdogo akuamini wewe roho yenye pendo pendo lilo lilo kamili ukamuondolee kuchukizwa ukampe kupenda kutoka kwako wewe bwana ambapo kupenda ndilo nguvu ya Mungu hebu ndugu pendwa my beloved brother upendwae na bwana yesu who is most loved by jesus christ uliona ishara you saw the sign na muujiza and the miracle uwe kijana you should be a yama hata kama hujaona and even if you have not seen it lakini siri ni kwamba but the secret is hata leo utaona muujiza even today to see a miracle usitishike maana kuna mabaya maisha yako do not be scared because there are evil things in your life nguvu za mungu zinakuja the power of god will come kwa wapendao to those who love bwana yesu anafanya kazi because jesus is working katika pendo in where there is love si uchu not hatred si chuki, not hatred si or murmuring si kusita, or maybe hesitation si kibore, a person who is proud haki, and esteems himself better hana, the thing is missing is love because love is not proud love is not proud love is esteeming others better if you find that you are a man who is esteeming yourself better you are not esteeming others better that means you don't have the love of god you'll decide the power of god of getting healed of everything that you are today decide and tell jesus christ Nisamee forgive me uniponye roho ya kuchukizwa and heal me the heart of offense uniumbie and create in me pendo la Mungu the love of God ndio kamili which is complete ndani mwangu in me muumbike kupenda that i should love kupenda that i should love pendo lako baba the you love ikae ndani mwangu should dwell in me ikae kwa amri zako you should i should dwell in your command ikae kwa agizo lako i should abide in your command pendo Love nguvu zako is your strength. Nipe kupenda. Give me to love. Niondolee kuchukizwa. And remove all the hatred. Wewe unafanya kazi. Because you are working na wapendao. Together with those who love. Hebu hivyo tumefunga macho. So that we close our eyes. Kila mmoja amuombe Bwana. Everyone to pray to the Lord. Tamani mwaka huu. Then this year. Tamani mwaka huu. Desire this year. Tuombe kila mmoja. Everyone to pray. Na utamani. And you desire. Mwaka huu. That this year. Niwe mtu wa pendo. That you should be a man of love. Asante baba na unakusudia. Mungu
Uwaumbie pendo la Mungu ndani ya kila mmoja. Kuumbike ndani ya kila mmoja. Pendo kamili. Kuumbike ndani ya kila mmoja. Pendo kamili. Uondoe hofu. Uondoe kuchukizwa. Umjalie yule ndugu na yule dada. Pendo kamili. Uondoe hofu. Uwajalie ndugu hawa. Wawe wapendao. Kukaa kwa amri zako. Kukaa kwa maagizo yako. Pendo ndio nguvu zako baba. Apendaye huamrika. Apendaye hajivuni. Ni asante baba wa mbinguni. Ninakushukuru baba. Ninakushukuru bwana Yesu. Ninakushukuru mchungaji mwema. Ninakushukuru mfalme wa mbinguni na nchi. Ninakushukuru baba wa mbinguni. Ninakushukuru mfalme wa mbinguni na nchi. Ni asante baba mfalme wa mbinguni na nchi. Ni asante. Ninakushukuru. E Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Jalia ndugu hawa wawe wapendao. Ponya kuchukizwa mioni mwao. Shetani akawapa kuchukizwa. Waponye kuchukizwa. Umjalie kila mmoja pendo la Mungu. Au mpike kila mmoja pendo ndani mwake. Sio na hofu. Maana wewe unafanya kazi na wapendao. Unafanya kazi na wapendao. Unafanya kazi na wapendao. Unafanya kazi bwana Yesu na wapendao. Unakuja kufanya kazi kwa wapendao wasio ficha manyonge yao. Wasio na uchungu. Wenye amani na watu wote. Baba ni asante na kushukuru. Kuondoa kuchukizwa. Moyoni mwa ndugu hawa. Maka uwe maka wa kupenda ili wewe ufanye kazi katika watu wako baba asante kutenda baba asante kutimiza bwana Yesu ninakushukuru kuwajalia kupenda kuwaponya hofu kuwajalia pendo kamili asante bwana Yesu kutenda pendo ni nguvu zako asante kutenda kuumba roho hiyo ndani ya kila mmoja amen Haleluya. Haleluya. Anasema, he saying, na wapenda wanipendao. I love them that love me. Si wachukizwao. No people are offended. Wapendao. Those who love. Pendo, love haujivuni. That is not proud. Haleluya. Haleluya. Pendo na hesabu nyingine bora. Love is esteeming others better. Maana mwingine haja dhana dhambi moja tu zinifu na ulevi. Because one may be thinking of only Your one thing, drunkenness and other three. That's why the founder of Masulia one day, Akasema, and she said, Sin is not adored and drunkenness, but bitterness, Ulaumiana, blaming each other, Ulikiana, murmuring each other, Ulikiana, despising each other, not esteeming others better. Zidambi, These are all sins. They never make you to enter into heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na nguvu ya yote, and the strength of a all that, you should be enabled the heart of loving. Because love is the power of God. I pray to the God of the founder in the servant of God, Emmanuel Kiam Zungu, to enable me to love, to love, to love. Amen. Amen. The power of God. Big ones and small ones. The poor and the rich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not fear whatever problem is in your life. Just be enabled to love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that offense should go away from you. Even the devil works. But God will still work together with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will work together with you. And this year, this year, this year, this year, will be a year of blessings to all of us. Year of blessings. Amen. All that the servant of God has prayed for us and he has wished for us, the power of strength to get them is love. And they are coming, they are on the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are coming, they are on the way. They are coming, they are rich boy coming. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where we are on? Don't you see them? 
They are at Hola. They have been sent by God coming. Those people you are wanting. Hallelujah. All the good things you want. If it is giving birth, it is on the way coming. Amen. Amen. It is on the way coming. May you be able to love. Love your sister. That's why I told you recently. Even those street children are street mothers have children and they have one year without taking birth if their curses she's free to curse but what brings birth is the love but you have a husband but the joy of husband to come so the devil is giving you to bring the face of another man no child will come out of this place until there is love amen amen We have come to the end of our service. We have many things to talk, but take that weapon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Close our eyes and one brother for a closing word of prayer. Thank you. Kwa sababu bwa umeona kweli bwana wewe unatuazia mema mawazo yako kwetu maisha ni mema wala si mabaya lakini umeona hayo mema hayaji kwa sababu hatuishi katika pendo baba wa mbinguni tazama umelinena kwetu baba ili utusamehe baba hivyo ninaamini baba kila mmoja wetu baba aliyenyenyekea baba katika neno hili baba ninaamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi umesemea na umeponya baba ni asante kwa sababu Mungu wa mwanzilishi unatutakia mema tazama mtumishi wako ametutabiria mema katika mwaka huu baba naye mema kumbe anapatikana katika pedo baba wa mbinguni tusaidie tukaweza kujifunza kudumu katika hilo pedo ili ale mema ambayo baba unatutakia yaweze kutimia baba nasema ni asante kwa sababu ya hiyo siri baba nasema ni asante kwa sababu ya ujumbe tazama baba mtumishi wako baba umemtia nguvu kunena siri hiyo baba Mungu wa mwanzilishi ninakushukuru kwa sababu siri hiyo baba hatungeisikia baba basi kwa kuwa ni kwa sababu wewe ulisimamisha baba mtumishi wako mtumishi wako Emmanuel Kea Mzungu baba wa mbinguni tazama ulimsimamisha ili baba tuweze kuona mema haya baba nasema ni asante kwa yote ambao baba tumeyasikia mchana wa leo tazama baba tunaenda kufumukana Mungu wa mwanzilishi katusaidie baba tukaweze kutafakari tukaweze kujivunza tukaweze kuiga tukaweze kutia katika matendo haya yote tuliyasikia ama ni pendo baba wa mbinguni na kushukuru na tazama baba narudisha ibada hii mikononi mwako nikikumbuka baba nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako baba manake baba ni kwa ajili ya nyumba hiyo ndipo sababu baba siri kama hii tunaweza kuisikia asubuhi ya leo baba wa mbinguni nyumba hiyo kaizidishie uzima na amani na kila me mama baba kwa mkubwa na mdogo baba tazama baba nikumbuka mtumishi wako Mungu wa mwanzilishi unayemtumia usiku na mchana baba wa mbinguni zidi kumtia nguvu ulianza kazi njema ya kumtia nguvu baba kakamilishe baba uzima kamili baba wa mbinguni tazama tuvumwe kwa amani asante baba wa mbinguni kutena na shukuru kutimiliza ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo wokozi wetu asante bwana Karibu mama. Ninawasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Ebaba, ebaba, ebaba poke ya sifa. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke ya sifa. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke ya sifa. Tunaishi kwa neema yako, e baba, poke ya sifa. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke ya sifa. Tunaishi kwa neema yako, e baba, poke ya sifa. E baba, e baba, e baba, poke ya sifa. Hakuna iye kama wewe, e baba, poke ya sifa. E baba, e baba. Hakuna liye kama wewe e baba pokea 